impressive average of 53 and a half. Strike rate, 100. It's more ball. And he's off and running, De Villiers. You do have to see what those last two deliveries in the... There's a boundary for you. They've been few and far between. It's the first boundary in about 59 minutes. And you come to expect these kind of shots from the Villas. Beautifully caressed through the covers. Now once again his ability to clear his front leg, trust his hands and play through the line. Let it hit it late because again, the ball coming through slower. No. This could be another one. This one slightly dragged down and placement supreme again from de Villiers. Just whips it away on the leg side. And the difficult for the bowler. The other one who could criticise, slightly overpitched. Because there's no pressure at the moment. There's uh, another boundary coming up. So that's what's happening. The, the singles are getting taken comfortably. Both batsmen are rotating the strike. And the boundaries are taking care of themselves. 24 overs gone, 133 for two. Well, what a shot. Maybe the Villiers. Jumping outside leg stump first, then moving back in and just uh, set the bowler up and execute it beautifully. 25 gone, 140 for two. Yeah, and a wonderful way to bring that 50 partnership. Maybe De Villiers, good placement. Maybe De Villiers looking to be aggressive. That didn't come quite out of the middle of the bat, but it's going to be good enough. Uncertain of whether to dive or not, but uh, just the intent from A.B. de Villiers, they're running between the wickets and advancing to the bowlers. He gets there, doesn't he? Good improvisation. There he goes again. A.B. de Villiers is really taking it to these Bangladesh bowlers. Well, he's really taking it apart, David de Villiers. He's improvising all the time. The Bangladesh bowl is now under huge pressure. They're never quite sure where de Villiers is going to try and hit the ball. Of 76 now, of 62 balls. Oops, that's a half tracker. Smashed away. This is the good thing about David de Villiers. Not only does he put the bad balls away, he gets them for boundaries. That's 50. That's a brisk 50. 54 balls. We were just talking in the previous con conversation, for your stint, about how tough the wicket is. Well, no one told David de Villiers. He's just gone out there and dictated terms. Incredible strike rate, 155. And a wicket that didn't look easy to bat on. Sydney Clint, Quinton de Kock was struggling to find boundaries. Short again. This time it's to the man. Which will disappoint David de Villiers. Now, so much about this game is who's dictating terms, who's dictating tactics, and... Maybe De Villiers is one of the best in the world. He really gets inside the bowler's head. Oops, that's a full toss. Again, he's found a, a gap out there. Yep, four. So again, it's a classic example. Two bad balls in this over so far, and both the real bad ones are gone for four. De Villiers out of form is going to put that away. Sort of form him confidence at the moment. He is man from heaven. Two men on the fence straight down the ground. That's why he's using that extra cover region. There's a long off down the bottom. Yes. 34 balls for his 50. This is the shot that took him to that uh, milestone. Come Sabir, come Sabir. Oh, he's cracked that one. That's gone miles. What a shot. What a beauty. That's gone for a drink. A cold beer, please. Brings up the 100 stand as well. 84 balls only. Powerful stuff from the Villiers. You might watch this and say, you know, he seems to get all the bad balls, but he creates it as well. It's the pressure he creates. It's getting inside that bowler's head. It's making the bowler want to do something different, not trying to do the ordinary. Getting outside the, the leg stump, giving himself some room. He often gets these balls that appear to be bad balls, but uh, he causes them. Ah! 
Oh, in the same area again, but you can save your legs. It's gone for four. This is such a super shot from A.B. de Villiers. I know he's on 97 now and he's played some good ones, but just look at the quality of the shot. Yes, there's a bit of tail in, but the balance, that's what makes him so good, A.B. de Villiers. Tailing in, good position, placement, everything perfect about the shot. Good hands on it. Two sees the shout and they'll get back for sure. Talk about quality players, isn't it? There's just the ability, how they find the gap. And he's managed that throughout his innings. A.B. de Villiers in this middle period. It's normally difficult to get boundaries, but he's just so strong to get them. 99. <laughs> Cheers all round as A.B. de Villiers makes his comeback. Back in all formats and what a masterclass is put on here in Paul. A 25th one day international century. Just outstanding. Different class. It's been a wonderful innings by A.B. de Villiers. Good to see him back in South African colors. But just look at where he's at when he plays every single shot. The balance, how he maneuvers the crease, how he puts bowlers under pressure. And his strength is to find the gap every single time he advances and put the, puts the bowlers under pressure. Look at that quality from A.B. de Villiers. What an innings. He's on 109 of 75 deliveries and it's just how he's played. And if you bowl anything offline, he'll put it away. Yeah, but so far, it's been very good. Shot. Opened up that offside. Knew exactly where he wanted to hit it. And he gets it far enough away from that sweeper for four. Two, six, nine for three. It's such a good shot from Avi de Villiers, just how wide he is, and he's aware of where the gap is. The man patrolling the boundary is fairly straighter, and he needs to get this behind square. Quality shot. Yeah, even more so because he hits this from outside leg. The only area he doesn't want to go, Saki Bal Hassan, is wide of off because he doesn't want that offside peppered. That's beautifully played. We've seen him countless times give himself room, trying to open up the different sides of the field. Doesn't miss out. Brings up the 50 partnership between these two. Germany's contribution, just the 17. Another smashing shot uh, from ABD. It was a slow delivery. Shimmy down the track and then bang over the top of the infield. Easy pickings. And uh, you also need to understand that he uh, played uh, according to the situation because it's not uh, easy to bat early on. First 10 overs, uh, South Africa going at a rate of under 5 runs in an over. He got himself set initially a couple of boundaries, then uh, just opening up and uh, playing uh, all around the park. That's dragged down. Shaki Bulasan tries to follow him, tries to cramp him up with space. But with the length, the village just rocks back, manages to get underneath it. And on to the bank she goes. Yeah, he picked the length very quickly. And probably on the quicker side uh, from uh, Shakib Al Hassan, but short. Deep in his crease. Maybe De Villiers is not going to miss out. That's beautifully played. It's the drag down. There's plenty of protection back there on the boundary. Four men back. But the length is only bowled at 114 kilometers an hour. The length is able for De Villiers just to smash it away. Yeah, that's the problem. He'll be very disappointed because that what it did was it allowed the AB De Villiers to come on strike with the drop catch. And then there's he dragged himself a short and it is sat up nicely. Maybe De Villiers knows it's gonna go and it's gone. At his third six. Problems for Bangladesh. Beautifully just paused for a brief second to wait for it to come to. And it's the same result. He goes for the same delivery. 
Back to back sixes. The Villiers on fire. A two cracking shot uh, after we saw Imrukas uh, dropping uh, a pretty simple chance. Now well, he's on fire, brings up the 300 for South Africa. Have a look at this. Again, it's short. And, uh, doesn't really go back deep in his crease. Trust the bounce, trust the length, and swings it away for another massive six on the leg side. What is the option? Man? He's got to go full now. The Villiers realizes that, uses his feet. And he's not rushing to get a second. He's quite happy to harbor the strike. Profitable over for South Africa. If you get it wrong, half volley is probably going to go straight back over there. Well, it's a good well on the full toss to go into the bank. Well, they were probably attempting a yoga, but uh, go going wrong. Lands up a uh, low full toss and a massive uh, six to get his 150. Yeah, brilliant from De Villiers, 152. His last 50 came of just 25 deliveries. His second time he's gone over 150 in one-day internationals. He's ranked number three in the world. And he is putting on a masterclass for us here, A.B. De Villiers. 13 fours and five sixes. At a strike rate of over 163. You can't miss, you have to be so accurate now. De Villiers is honed in. Another one over extra cover, one bounce, beautifully played. What an over. This is turning out to be 15 in the last over and already 12 in this over. One uh, gone for a sixth, the other one uh, on the offside over the infield for a boundary. It's raining uh, fours and sixes here at the moment. And it is in full cry, ABD Williams. First here. Put that away for a big six down the leg side. You have to be so accurate as a bowler. It's, it's not about... De Villiers knows exactly where he's going to put every delivery. If you miss your spot, he's basically got each area earmarked. You have to get it in right underneath those feet so he can't get underneath it. It has to be a Yorker. Otherwise, it's going to disappear. He's in the zone. And he helps that one on its way as well. It's the change-up. Tuskin, he's gone to the slower delivery, and unfortunately, just lands on the perfect length. And the Villiers helps it on its way. He's such a dangerous batsman, A.B. De Villiers, and especially when in this is this kind of mood. It's a slower delivery, short, long hop. Thank you very much. Six more, 18 in this over, two balls to go. The highest fourth wicket partnership for this ground. Any in one day internationals that happen here in Paul. And De Villiers has now equaled his highest score of 162. He's in the zone. He can wait. If it's a change up, it's not going to affect him. The length. It's a good start for the captain. 67 in the last 38 deliveries. Misses. One bounce, two bounces. And away for another boundary so difficult just the four people in the ring and the five on the boundaries but you still feel him that's his first boundary that clear the boundary take it to six he hasn't had to do anything else in this partnership but just sit and observe it's nice to just join the party even if it's for a brief moment 113 of 66 deliveries three overs to go He knew it wasn't far away. <laughs> yeah, there was an opportunity, but he had to get it a little bit finer. Is it straight to Lytton Dances at the deep square? You know, the men uh, behind are the ones uh, who are inside the circle. He's disappointed. He's dragged it. He'll be able to get back for two. I heard a, a little groan as his bat turned in his hands and he smothered it. Well, the three, three deliveries that uh, Ruben Hussein has pulled so far has been a good one. He's a uh, pitch it fuller and it's just restricted the batsman uh, to uh, play a bit short, getting the inside part of the bat, but still managed to play, pick up two and gets back on strike. Ruben was saying going for Yorkers. Maybe the Villiers will get down and paddle him once he's settled on that length. Gets underneath it, he might hold out. He does. 
So a fantastic innings from Avi de Villiers. 176 of 103 deliveries comes to an end. It's been thoroughly entertaining. Everyone who's gathered here, even the Bangladesh supporters would have appreciated it. The scoring rate has been unbelievable. Well played, Avi de Villiers. Outstanding innings there from A.B. de Villiers. He's smashing his way to 176 of just 104 deliveries. Finally, success. Take a bow, A.B. de Villiers. Ruben Hussain uh, finally managed to send him back. Float like a butterfly, sting like A.B. He goes for 176. South Africa, 3-4-3-4. Three, four, three, four. He just got it at the bottom of the bat, de Villiers. Just tailed in. And as he makes the contact there, he realizes he hasn't got enough. He's just got to hope it doesn't carry all the field that drops it. It was right at the bottom. And eventually, get rid of the star performer.